Recently, I added up all the ways that I pay to get music, movies, television, and internet services in my life. I'm calling it a digital audit, and it was just about as fun as a day at the IRS. First, I'll show you how I ended up with all these digital bills, and then we'll figure out how to cut some, I hope. Let's start with a big guy, cable and internet. I pay about $180 a month for TV and internet access and phone, and then I recently added HBO for another $10 a month. I also subscribe to something called Stream Picks, because even though Comcast has lots of video on demand, it's not all available on demand unless you get this other subscription too. Nice one, Comcast. But then I also still pay $8 a month for Netflix, and I pay $6 a month for Amazon Prime, and I sometimes end up renting movies on demand because they're not available to stream on any of those other outlets, which, come on. Also, I sometimes buy movies on iTunes so that I can download them and take them on the plane. That's probably, say, $10 a month. Oh, and I pay for TiVo, that's 13 bucks a month. So I'm at $232 a month here, and that's just for TV, movies, and the internet that I use to stream them. Then there's music. I also pay for Spotify, and I pay for satellite radio, and I occasionally even buy music when I can't find it streaming somewhere. And then there's cloud storage, which I pay for two times over. I pay for Dropbox, and I pay for iCloud storage so that I can back up my iDevices. So now I'm at $265 a month, which is over $3,000 a year. There are some things I can do to make this bill smaller. Video on demand has gotten pretty good. I could probably dump Netflix. And I could use Amazon Prime for music and get rid of satellite radio. Also, I'm switching from Dropbox to Google Drive immediately. That'll take me from $10 a month to $2 a month for the same storage. In fact, if you just want photo storage, use Flickr instead. You get a terabyte for free. But I gotta say, I'm starting to look at this one big bill right here. I mean, do I really need cable? I can put an HD antenna on my TiVo and then I would still get any sports that are on network TV. And I obviously get plenty of television and movies through Amazon and Netflix, even if I have to pay sometimes to rent something. Plus I could keep all of my music, all for less than I pay for cable now. And I would get my internet bill down to more like $40 a month. So I'd save 155 bucks a month or almost $1,900 a year. I'm not quite ready to cut the cord because I still want the sports, but that cable subscription is on life support. For now, it's just all about paying attention to what you pay.